Hi, welcome to Deja Vu Tarot. Let's get a quick message. Holy Spirit will message you. Ace of Cups, God is love. Believe and trust that you guys are going to have a union. That love is here. Believe it is here. Y'all don't believe. Y'all don't believe that in love. You got to believe in love. You got to love yourself first. God is love. Right? You fill your cup up first, then it overflows to the world. Love is here. Ace of Cups, okay? Why the Ace of Cups here, Spirit? What you trying to tell the, co the community? I can say community. The community is working on moon magic, spell work, love spells, secretly working on y'all unions behind your back, Okay? That's another message I'm picking up with the moon out here. At night, they working on your love. They doing love spells. Okay. What's the moon? Eight of Pentacles. Working on what exactly? Ace of Wands. One, one, one on the clock. Some of y'all, y'all loves are working to take action to come towards you. Ace of Wands. On. So, I feel like Spirit is saying... They don't, you may not believe it, collective, but believe the fact that your love is coming towards you. You have a twin, a soulmate, someone is working to come towards you. Okay, I see two aces that's definitely a new beginning in love. Okay, okay, and then the downside, y'all know I gotta have a downside. Someone could be working on some type of sex spell, sex magic here. Let's see, what's the Ace of Wands? Good or bad, Spirit? Give me a good card if it's for the good. Give me a bad if it ain't. What is this Ace of Wands? Okay. It's love. Collective. Your person is working on coming towards you. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or they just in love. This could be your counterpart. Okay. They're working. They're working on trying to come towards you. Yeah, because they in regret about what they did. They could have lied, lied about they love, lied about who they was with, being foolish, tried to steal from you for some of y'all. Could have tried to steal your energy, just being foolish. That's the truth. Okay. Could have been messing with karmics. That was in the way third parties here. So now they working on coming towards you. They're working on themselves. Yeah, it was definitely a betrayal. They definitely betrayed you with a karmic here. Some of y'all could have been a child, may have had a child on you. They're going to come back with a love offer, though. They realize that this karmic betrayed them. They were set up the whole time. Okay, the truth finally. They getting clarity. They got the truth now. Truth has been spoken. Yeah, Towers. Yeah, somebody spoke the truth and said, look, I do love the collective. I do. That was a tower because this person here didn't think that this person was going to confess that they love you. They did. Backfired on their ass. We'll go around, come around, and the truth came out. And this person now want to take a leap. They realized the people who they was hanging with that they was giving their cups to wasn't nothing. Look, they spilled out. They was fake. You know it all along, high priestess. You were trying to tell them. They could have been paying some type of witch to do some type of spell work here. And she was childish. Started raging war against you. Yeah, look at here. It was a karmic. It was a distorted feminine energy. She tried to block the connection. She could have been going through some type of divorce, you know, some on her end, but she wanted to block yours. Yeah. Spirit say you get what you get and you get what you put out. So that's what I was saying. It's like earlier, somebody's working on some type of spell work at night, which I feel like it was this karmic four for four and o'clock to try to stop you collecting. Or stop this person from coming towards you, okay? They start trying to do some betrayal. They didn't want this person to come towards you, okay? Because this person was in love. 
this garment start working on some spell work here at night. This the story of feminine. Could have been a witch, could have been a warlock, could have been, she could have been part of some type of society, okay? That's the truth. Universe saw the truth. What they was doing, being foolish. She was lying too. Some of y'all, she could have been faking. Yeah, she was putting stuff in your drink, your cup, your coffee. She could have been faking like she was a high priestess, some type of other for the God. But she wasn't. Okay, you could have been paying her. Your masculine could have been paying her. She was lying. Could have been telling him to do a whole bunch of stuff or what you saying that you did it or all type of shit. You know how people be lying. I was just saying that today. I was looking at a reader and I was thinking like, yeah, six of wands. You lost, Karmic. <laughs> womp, womp. You lost. You lost. But anyway, I was thinking like, I was looking at reading, you know, listening to these readers, and I'm thinking, let me start asking for real. Is these readers on some real shit? Because it's a lot of readers doing a lot of spell work, guys. So be careful. Okay, they're doing a lot of spell work. They're projecting. They're heartbroken. Okay, the spirit is saying they need to heal their heart. Okay, they need to ask God to heal their heart. Okay, but they're just being greedy. They just being online, being deceptive. They all under judgment, Spirit is saying, okay? Because they they basically met their match. They met their match with the real readers that's really been building their platforms. And they've been watching. And they get jealous and they start going into their book of spells, okay? Trying to make people move on from doing what God is telling them to do, okay? And God seeing everything. And I just saw 7-Eleven. Some of y'all definitely is going to get lucky here. I feel like, um, Empress, your luck about to change. You're going to have some good luck. Okay, you created this. Spirit is saying you had the power to fix it. Just believe and trust that it's going to work out. And I feel like, which bitch, you've been stalking people and you created this. Now you're going to fix it. Get you some self-respect. Make a commitment to be have self-love and stop doing all this damn spell work okay yes and divine feminine you are an angel earth angel you've been healing okay you're abundant and karmic you about to be single what you put out you got back you tried to marry your marriage is ending because of this spell work spirit is saying because of this witchcraft you did that's why your marriage is ending. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Your man walked away. I feel like it was a polyamorous relationship. I think two people walked away from this marriage. Because this witch bitch was over here trying to end you. Okay, she could be some hair font, some reader, psychic reader, wannabe. Okay. She was betraying like a lot of people, a congregation here. Throwing magic on the unions, on the Twin Flames unions, attacking the unions and things. Thinking she was God. Could have been a family member. Now they all stuck, this cult. Okay? Yeah, they all burdened. All these fake-ass healers. They could have been healers at one point in time, but they went against the unions. So now they they fallen angels. They're not healers anymore. You, you, you created this. Spirit is saying, you fix it. You created it. You fix it. And others of you, your cup is going to overflow. Love is coming. Your person do love you. They are realizing that they love you. And they realizing that these was a bunch of groupies. Trust your inner guidance. Spirit is saying, okay. What do your heart say? What do your soul say? Not what do a witch say? Spirit is saying it's time to leave these unhealthy situations. And they may have, or this is what they're planning on doing, okay? Because they realize, Divine Feminine, these was your groupies, okay? These wasn't nobody that was really down for them. They realized that. You're on the right path. Continue to stay on the right path. 
those of you masculines who's ending situations, women, uh, divine feminine masculines, who's ending situations and going about your journey. Spirit saying you're on the right path. Keep going. Continue to go and do what you guys need to do. Yeah, because you were innocent the whole time. You didn't do nothing to these people. You hang on to your innocence. Keep praying, collective. Keep praying, asking God to clear things because you got a new beginning. You prayed for your new beginning, and now your new beginning is coming. Keep your eyes on the target intention. Okay, this person is trustworthy. The situation already been resolved. You just got to stay positive, okay? God is going to protect this union. This union is protected, okay? It's time to make that decision, collective, what you're going to do, okay? write about it somebody could be i've been picking this up somebody may be writing to you wanting to write you a poem something about romance okay the spirit say you're gonna be happy 11 11 yeah it's your twin they may want to write something to you i don't know they write a song they could be writers maybe they want to write a book about this i don't know maybe it's written it's written it's written for you to be loved, okay? God is, God says it's written. This is your destiny to be married. And that's what you're gonna get. And all these bitches and bum bitches and bum people who is resentful, these groupies that can't be by themselves are gonna be sitting there looking stuck on stupid because tower is on your ass. And the rest of y'all is going to have a surprise. It's going to be a shock to you. You're not going to know. Yeah. Explore your options too, Spirit is saying. This person is getting a tower now. Some of y'all, yeah, they getting what they put out, Spirit is saying. So they're on the spell work. A lot of y'all masculines ain't coming back. They're on the spells. They thinking they are, okay, but they're not. You are going to have a new beginning, okay? Others of you, your person is going to communicate. All right, they're going to communicate. Okay, you're going to be celebrating. They're going to communicate and they're going to say they want to come on back now. They've been juggling all these options and they didn't have an epiphany. These options ain't doing nothing for them. But bringing them towers upside their head and keeping them blocked. So they want to come balance things out. And walking away is going to balance things out. Okay? And I feel like Spirit is saying for y'all... Wicked people, walk away from this magic because that's what's going to balance you out. But you're getting that karma, though, for teaming up to try to uh, hurt somebody. You could be sick. Okay? Your enemies are sick because you finna have a commitment, Divine Feminine. Ooh! You finna have a commitment. Internal love is here. I kept saying that, too. Detach divine masculine so you can get your your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. God is sending you messages here. Okay, your children are protected. Be gentle with yourselves too, collective 1333. Okay. You're gonna have a favorable outcome. What? In love. Okay, this is your life purpose. As I change your Michael, God Almighty to help you with it. Trust your inner feelings. Lean on God if you need for support. When this person come back, because they coming. They are coming, collective. What you going to do? When, what you going to do? Look, they working on themselves. Look. Look. They working on marriage, girl. Somebody about to get married. Ooh. -hoo. Yeah, they focusing on their divine perfect health, spirit saying. So they, they know where they need to go, okay? They could just be trying to get there. You know, page of wands, that, that's going to be a message. You're going to get a message sent to you. They may call you. They may pop up. You're going to be like, what? Look, that's the truth. The truth is going to come. He's going to come express his true feelings towards you. Now, I don't know. The decision is going to still be up to you, Okay. But he going to say, I apologize. I left this person. I feel left out. I left this person out, man. This person tried to block our love. I understand that now. 
I understand that now, Empress. Okay, I want to come towards you and make this right. Okay, Empress in reverse. Yeah, this Empress in reverse, this fake ass wannabe baby mama here. She the one tried to block everything. Okay. Spirit is saying, move along. Move along. Fake ass Empress. Don't be no fool. Okay. Now you know the truth. You got the truth. Move right on along now. All right. Exactly. Okay, so this baby mama could be trying to still sabotage the connection. She keep trying to, but Spirit is telling her to move her ass on because it's going to happen. Okay. Ain't nothing you're going to be able to stop, baby mama, or enemies, or dark magicians, or sorcerers, or whatever y'all thinking y'all going to do. You're going to end up in a whole situation you ain't going to be able to get out of. You're probably already there now. Trust your intuition. Focus on your divine perfect health. You guys be all right, okay? 16, 16 on the clock. I think I'm going to leave it there just for a quick little, quick little reading. Last two messages. Your children are safe. Do not worry, guys. If you got to leave your kids, God is saying angels got it. They're going to protect your kids. You ain't going to have to worry. The situation is already going. Is already done. It's already done in Jesus' name. The prayer say, I give wor any worries, cares, and concerns. Spirit is saying, give it to God, okay, in exchange for true peace. I'm telling you, you want your peace. Give that to God, okay? Your children, everything going to be fine because this is confirmation to you. Prayer you could say is, dear guardian angels of my children, born and unborn, thank you for watching over my children, ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and a good role model for me and my own children and other people's children too. So God is saying they're going to be safe. You don't have to worry about that divine masculine. This baby mama, she just threatening you. Yeah, you got eternal love. Just focus on that, man. Tell me. All that other shit that these baby mamas trying to threaten you with the kid, don't worry about that. Your children are safe. God ain't going to let nothing happen to your children. And if that witch try to do something, I'm trying to tell you, she going to be in for a rude awakening. Make a commitment. Make a commitment that you will go towards your divine love, your divine partnership. Have confidence in it. Do some more energy healing. I'm sorry, energy healing work. Have confidence in it, okay? To make a commitment, you got to get courage. And so that's what your person could be trying to do now is get courage. He, he needs some energy healing, okay? That's is what's going to make you strong, Divine Masculine. You got to heal. There's no other way around it. What is that on my glasses? No, that's a glitter. That's weird. Okay, there's no other way around it. Yeah, you got to end these cycles and transform. Okay. And karmics, there's no other way around. You already see what's popping out for y'all. There's no way around it. You got to do the work. Do the work. That's how you get protection. By healing, guys. I can't make this shit up. Protection is healing. Do the work, exactly. But the more you, you do the work and the more you heal, if you decide to leave, God's saying they're going to protect your children. Y'all are protected. Your home is protected. Your children are protected. You don't have to worry about these witch bitches. Exactly. Thank you, God. I love you so much. Yes. God is in charge. 1919. 10, 10. It's over. It's over now. It's over, man. The person you asking about is trustworthy. Pay attention to them dreams. You're going to have a new beginning. And continue, continue to pray. Because the unions are here. It's over. It's over for the karmics. Move forward. Change our life. Them death spells is returned. Ding dong, these witches is dead. Ding dong. 
Ding dong, God. Ding dong. I just want to give you praise, Lord. Thank you. Shield yourself. Okay. Now the prayer for this, and I'm going to end it right here. Because, whew, okay. The prayer for this is, okay, shield yourself, guys. That's the message. And it says, God, Archangel Michael, because I say God, you can say Archangel, it don't matter. Who, step for the devil. If you're saying devil, this is not going to work for you. We're talking about high vibration. God, Archangel Michael, I ask you, God, period. God, Archangel Michael, I ask you, or Jesus, too. You can say Holy Trinity, okay? Okay, Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, my home. With your powerful shield, surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. So, if you leave this karmic, you are protected by death spells. Any death spells that this karmic has sent out, God is saying you are shielded and protected in your children is too. If you leave this situation, so whoever this is... If you're under, if you're still partnered with this person, God is in charge, and them death spells is coming back. You need to leave now. Hopefully, you have. If you did, God is saying you're gonna get a new beginning. Pray it, okay? Manifest it, right? Pay attention to your dreams, cause the spirit, ancestors, angels, God been trying to tell you something. And God is saying this person is trustworthy, so you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry, okay? Have faith. Ask God to open your eyes, open your heart to receive love, right? I was just saying that today. Thank you, God. Please allow me to open my heart to receive love. Because sometimes when you heal so much from all the bullshit that your life been going through, Sometimes you just want to just block everybody off, and God is saying that is not what we're here for, guys, especially if you're a twin. <laughs> you are not here to block love off. You are a love angel. Your strength is love. God is love. You're not here to block love. God is in charge of your love life. It is written for you to be love. It is fated for you to be love because God is love. So do you think you're going to sit here on earth and not have love? No, especially when you heal because God wants us to heal first before he bring us love. So now that you healed, here comes your love collective. Here comes your love. All right, that has been y'all reading. Once again, it all boils down to love. Take care, Collective.